Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking transformation GIF using Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Now you might remember this project from a tutorial I did a while back and this is what I did in that tutorial. I basically showed you how to create this transformation diagram where I showed you how to show how you transform some basic form into the form of your building. And if you want to check that video out, the link to that tutorial will be in the description of this video. But in today's fast-paced, low-attention-span world, this just isn't enough. You need to go a step further to capture people's attention. And creating this animated GIF where you show how you basically got to this transformation is an amazing way to capture people's attention. And this is not only great for architectural presentation but also you can kind of promote your project later on and you can promote yourself as an architect using this online okay so let's get started but before I get into basically creating this animation I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make helpful tutorials like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Adobe Illustrator and this is where I kind of left off with the last project where this was only a diagram. And now we're going to go a step further. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these shapes and I'm going to put the weight of the lines to one point. So I want to create this to kind of really into really thin lines. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want to select it and kind of make it a lot smaller, kind of like that. And I'm just going to place it here in the upper left corner. And I'm just going to select these two and put them underneath. So we kind of have our diagram running from top to bottom. And I'm going to show you first how to get from this shape to this shape. And then I'm going to fast forward the rest of these so you don't have to watch repetitive actions. And what you have to do is you have to kind of go backwards. So you're not going to go from this one to this one. You're actually going to go from the second one to the first one. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to fill in the frames. So how you got from this shape to this shape. And you do that by just selecting this, holding the Alt key to create a copy and just place it wherever on the side. Then again, you hold the Alt and you hold the Shift and you kind of move it upward kind of using ortho in Illustrator. And once you have this, you need to double click it to edit this group because this is kind of, these lines are grouped and now you can start changing this up. So the first thing you need to do is you need to move this up a bit and we can perhaps move it in four segments. So I'm just going to be holding the shift and kind of move it like this. After that, I'm going to delete this line because First we're going to transform this line and then we're going to copy it to the other side. So again, hold the shift, move it up and then you can see here it kind of ran away. And what you need to do, you need to select it and you need to go here to the direct select tool or use A as a shortcut. And I left a bunch of shortcuts for Illustrator in the description of this video if you want to check that out. So you kind of just... oops let's undo that you kind of select this point over here and then you move it down and again you need to first select then move down then we have this weird point kind of move it down here perhaps even lower yeah move this like that move this up a bit move this perhaps like that and you kind of have to play around and this doesn't have to look perfect because it will be moving real fast so it's not that important but try to make it look nice okay so once we have this line finished maybe we can edit it just a little bit over here okay so once this is finished you can select it with a regular select tool or V is the shortcut and then just by holding the alt you can copy it over here so once it's over there, you can see that we kind of have too much line over here. So again, go into Direct Select tool and you move this to this point. You move this point perhaps over here and you kind of make some adjustments to make everything look nicer. You perhaps move this here a bit and you kind of make adjustments like that. Maybe this should go up a bit. Yeah that looks alright. So now we're just going to go back to the regular selection tool 
move this bit up, move this bit up as well, and we're finished. And to exit out of this edit mode, just you, you just hit this gray bar over here. Then again, you select it, you hold Alt and Shift, and you kind of copy it upward, and then you do the same thing. So you just kind of have to double click, and you start editing. And just to save time, I'm going to kind of speed this up so you don't have to watch everything. this is kind of something you finish with so you're left with these kind of incremental parts between and now you need to set this up into a animation and how do you do that so first you need to open up this layers panel and I'm just going to bring it up a bit if I can or you can even unpin it and then just extend it just to make everything easier and you open it up and here you can see that you have these groups and if you try turning off one of the groups you can see it corresponds to your kind of your frames these are basically going to be your frames so you kind of play around and you try turning them off till you find the first one so you want the top one okay this is the top one this is the second one the third one the fourth one the fifth one okay so we have a series starting from here so I'm just going to select this group and hold the shift and select this and then move it up so I want the first one to be kind of a the first one so let's get to fourth or no yeah this is fifth let's try next okay so we have this group all the way going all the way to the end then there's nothing below that okay so this is the final one and then we have these three in the middle okay so we have from this one all the way to okay to this one so from this one to this one so you're just going to select from here to here I think or no to here and move this down so if you go this is the last one the second to last and you just keep checking everything out okay this should go up so this one should go upward okay now move this up a bit more and then you start checking everything out okay two three four five six seven six seven eight nine ten okay this is working yeah everything seems to be in order right now okay so once you have this kind of aligned the way you want it to be aligned what you need to do is you need to go and kind of start moving them on top of each other so you kinda place one on top of the other you move around you select both of them you hold the shift key so you can kinda move it parallel down and you can use arrow keys just to nudge everything in place it doesn't have to be all that perfect but kinda try to be precise you don't have to be sloppy Okay, so when these are all aligned, you need to select it, select all of them, move it to the center, and then just by holding Alt and Control, kind of scale it proportionately and just place it in the middle. And if the lines are too thin, you can select them and then maybe make it, I don't know, like six. Yeah, this will be okay for this project. Okay, and it isn't aligning perfectly, but don't worry, that will kind of look cool when you animate it when it's moving around the screen a bit. Okay, so now what you have to do is you need to kind of turn everything off except the first one and I've tried selecting kind of all of them and then doing it but it doesn't work that way you need to do it manually okay so you're left with just the first one and you go here to file file save as save it to desktop as number one and just call it number one Adobe Illustrator save it 
and you open up this go OK and then you basically turn this off turn on the second one go file save as number two and you have to do this for each and single one of them Okay, so once this is finished, you kind of need to minimize your Illustrator. Let's turn this off. Okay, so we have everything saved up over here on desktop. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Photoshop. Wait for a second till it opens and then just drag to your Photoshop the first one. So the first scene and you open it up and you get something that looks like this. Okay, so you have this and what you need to do now is you need to add the rest of them and add a background perhaps so just a new layer let's just rename it into background okay so let's add the rest of the layers so you're just going to go over here select everything so select everything except the first one so just unselect this move it towards go OK open this up and you just go finish OK okay and here you have your layers now you can again move your layers layers over here just to extend it all the way down and you just make sure that they are aligned properly so the layer number one should be at the bottom perhaps and then you kinda arrange the rest of it so you find number two then we're going to place number three number four five six seven and eight okay the rest is fine okay so once this is finished you need to go to your timeline and if you can't see your timeline over here just go into window and find this timeline Okay, now I closed it, so just window, timeline, and here it opens up. So you kind of have everything turned on right now. So what you need to do is you need to turn off everything except the first one. So you kind of go down, and you close all layers except, except for this first one. And once this one is opened, you just go here to new or basically duplicate layer. You turn this one off, you turn this one on, and again, you go duplicate, turn this one off, turn this one on, duplicate, off, on, and you repeat this. And once you're finished with this, you can kind of play it over here. And as you can see, the transformation is happening, and now you need to export it. So let's stop it. Go here to File, open up this, and you have this Save for Web. You open the, this dialog up and you wait for a second for it to load. Okay, this is quite a large size image as you can see here, so you can kind of make it smaller. Let's make this 2000 pixels. Yeah, this is going to be kind of better sized. Or maybe even smaller, let's try 1500. Okay, so once this the image size is selected, make sure that GIF is selected over here in this drop menu, and then you go save. And I'm just going to save it to desktop as transformation GIF. Okay, and once I'm done, I just go save. You minimize Photoshop, and here we have this transformation GIF. I'm going to right click it and open with Internet Explorer. And as you can see, we have our transformation GIF. So this is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.